Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. I'm going to bring you another gear review today, and this video is about knee pads. Now, these knee pads in particular are Condor. However, I recommend if you're going to do any type of tactical work um, that you have at least a set of knee pads available to you, whether they're Condor or not. Um, I've got two or three different sets. These um, I bought... Uh, probably about six eight months ago i have another set like this a different color and um they've held up fine and uh, of course i've got some other sets that are not condor brand so knee pads if you are going prone um doing low crawling stuff like that knee pads will save your knees um tremendously they just work a lot of military guys a lot of law enforcement guys especially uh, of course your you know standard line officer working the street he's not gonna wear knee pads but any tactical units they're gonna wear knee pads normally military guys uh, wear knee pads a lot of times i don't wear my knee pads but i have them with me if i'm doing range work or anything like that i'll at least have my knee pads with me that way if if I'm going to, you know, my knees start taking a beating, I've got something I can put on them. Nothing worse than uh, your knee or something get, you know, hit with a rock or, you know, you go down on your knee and uh, make it your knee sore and then you have nothing to um, pad it with. So, I'll, you know, it's kind of like a rain jacket. I always keep knee pads with me uh, for that purpose. It's better to actually wear them. It actually saves your pants from getting torn, worn out knees and, and so forth. So they have a purpose. Uh, these condorms are good quality. There's a hard outer shell here that's plastic and uh, it's got condor uh, in the plastic there. These are riveted on um, and then the um, they're nice foam padded. They uh, have some give to them. They also have these nice Velcro straps that are also really nice bungee. These are the heavier duty uh, elastic that will not stretch and then get all out of shape. I mean, I, obviously if you stretch it enough, it probably will over time, but obviously, uh, actually this is pretty good quality elastic to be honest with you. And, uh, but you got a Velcro top and bottom that you can utilize. And I will tell you the weakest point on these is this plastic piece right here it's um if they're going to break that's probably where it's going to break at uh, because everything else is nice and double stitched riveted and so forth be honest with you if i broke this i do like these pads well enough that if i broke a set of these with this piece here i would probably go um, to some type of army surplus store and find me some pieces like this that are metal that has the their tin there there's a gap right here and you can bend them stick it on and bend it back i would probably replace it with those and matter of fact if i'm next time i'm at the one of the army surplus stores i may i'm pretty sure that's a I don't know, one and a half inch webbing there. I'll probably see if they have some of these and I'll go ahead and replace them before they break. So that way I don't have to worry about it um, and get some metal ones. But if that's the weakest point on these, everything else is nice quality. I wish they would have went a little extra and made those a little nicer, even if they use some cheap metal. But anyway, that's what they used and that's what they have. But anyway, you get a set of those. They're about $15, $16 for a set. Probably you can usually get that, including shipping. Um, you don't have to buy you know, tactical ones. You can find these uh, knee pads, usually even at Lowe's, Home Depot, places like that. Uh, for people, carpenters that do like um, uh, tile work and hardwood floors and stuff like that. Um, so you can find knee pads around. You can obviously find some that are actual tactical ones. You can find some in sporting goods stores. But uh, either way, I would highly recommend that you keep a set of um, knee pads with you, especially if you're going to do any type of uh, training, uh, range work, that sort of thing. Uh, they really do come in handy, and I like having a set on hand. Um, gloves, the safety glasses, uh, rain gear kind of keep it with me at all times for that type purpose but anyway guys want to bring this short video uh, if you have any questions post those below if you have any experience with any of these uh, or anything similar um, if you have some of the condor brand you like to uh, discuss that with us uh, please share your thoughts and if you have any questions post those below as always like share and subscribe and i appreciate you tuning in to the channel tonight and i'll be bringing you another video shortly have a good day guys